Okay guys, we're back day two. So excited. Um, I found out that the person who was in here before is gone, like not even in the school anymore. So all the random stuff that's up, I can take down. Let's talk about my to-do list today because it seems pretty hefty. I think I'm gonna have to definitely come back for day three, maybe even a day four at this point. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is set up tables. I bought two. The top one is four foot. This one down here is two feet. Um, then I want to build the bookshelves that I told you I got yesterday. I'm going to put all the stuff that goes on them on them. Clean this teacher desk because, wow, that's rough. And then I want to clean off the student desks and group them if I can and hang lights. So on every one of the desks from the shields last year, all the sticky residue is still on them. So I brought some goo gone with me today. So hopefully I can get that off. And there's still name tags from last year. And then I'm going to group them. I'll show you what I'm gonna do when I do it because I really think it'll be okay with COVID guidelines and worst case, then I just move them back. But I wanna see how it looks. We'll start there and I have a whole bunch of lights to string up around and I'm super excited. So let's go ahead and start that. Fun fact, oh, these are all wonky. Fun fact, I went to Dollar Tree today because I needed um, the letter tray holders. I found this one. I went to three Dollar Trees. I found this. So at the third Dollar Tree, I found something that I like even more because I think it matches my classroom better than that black. I found these bins. So if you go to a good Dollar Tree, you know which ones I'm talking about, the ones that have a little bit of everything. They have these bins right now. They also had black ones of these. I just love them. They were a dollar, so I got four of them. So both of the tables are done and they look nice, but the bookshelves uh, apparently need a screwdriver to put together. You know, usually I get the ones from Walmart where you just need your Allen wrench. Not today. So um, I'm going to unbox them and just kind of stick them over here, but I guess that's going to be for another day. That's okay. Um, let me show you the tables. This is table number one. This looks sad, but... Whatever, we'll figure it out. Um, I have a couple things just kind of hidden underneath, but really this is like my Monday through Friday bins. I just say, you know, the things that I've copied will all go in there. Um, I might pull them out a little bit and put, like hide some stuff behind it. Like I have my binders for the classes, so I might put that behind it, but we'll see about that. This is super cute. I'm not sure if I had this in my What I Bought video, but this is just a DNA double helix I got off Amazon for like $10. Um, there's no instructions to put it together, so that was a fun 30-minute adventure, but super cool. I also got this. It's a nice little timer. I need to time it and see how long it actually is, just so that I can use it, because I have my two-minute timer, and I'm hoping that this is a minute, because that would be nice. All right, so this table over here, this is clearly too small to house construction paper, but I'm honestly not that concerned about it, because it was a dollar, so that'll be like that. Here we have just paper for any students who need it talked about this um, yesterday, but you know, for each earth science, A and B and biology, whatever we're doing that day, they'll take whatever they need to turn in, they'll turn it in here. And if they're turning in any late work, they'll put it there. Over here, I have the pencil sharpener with these that say ready to write and please sharpen. These ones came pre-sharpened, woohoo. So I just put some of them in there. Hopefully they won't try to take all of them, but if they do, I think I have over a thousand pencils right now. So go for it. I have these, like I said, I had a whole bunch of these at home, so they can take those. Some erasers, highlighters, all there to take. These are the signs that will be hung up along with this board, the what did I miss, and this that I'll have all the different things that they missed throughout the week right here on the wall. So we're going to go tackle the teacher desk now. So 
was story time, I wanted to buy the big um, dice that I could just put one, two, three, four, five, six on them um, so that I could use them kind of like a choice board. You know, you roll a number, whatever that number is, that's the activity you have to complete. Um, so I thought I got a really good deal on a bunch of them and I was like, that's great. I only needed eight of them. Then I got them and I see why they were a great deal. This is something that you do when you order from Wish. This was not Wish. These, they're like, they're so, I mean, they're still going to work just fine, but I'm like, teeny tiny. That's okay. So I have 30 of these now. This is where we got. We've got some stuff. It's like paper. No, no, wrong. Tape. Stapler. I have post-it notes. My grandma got me these. I thought they were kind of cute. So it looked like me. It says, the future of the world is in my classroom today. So I've got a whole bunch of uh, notes to write there. I have a slinky because I don't, because why not? This is just full of a whole bunch of paper clips. It's my cute little holder from the dollar spot that I paid a dollar for. And my calendar. That stuff's gonna go. This stuff's gonna go. When I hang up my lights, I bought these where, you know, you plug in one, two, three, and then there is a remote that'll turn on one, two, or three. So now my car just has some stuff. Like all my post-it notes and um, index cards, I have a ton of them, so I put them there. All of these, because when I use these, I'm gonna be writing on the calendar that'll be over there. And then, I have that in here and I'm hoping it stays. I don't think it's anybody's because the teacher that was in here is gone. So if that's the case, then I figured I'll take my cart and I have my Expo markers that I can go ahead and just walk around with that. I have a space for my doorbell, which I'll talk about that in a second. Um, my clicker, a bunch of these, uh, Sharpies, all that fun stuff. So I saw this as a hack for classroom management. And I thought it was a really good idea. You just get a doorbell. It's supposed to, you know, stick on the door or something, but I figured it's nice to have it with me. If you look there, all you have to do is plug it in, and then when you hit it, and that is about five seconds long, which is as long as the kids need to be getting ready to turn and face me. So if they're in groups or something, I need them to pay attention. Hit that, boom, boom, good to go. Okay, so over here I have, like I said, my bins. Um, I just stuck my timers in one of these just so it was a little less messy. And then I have this too that I got at Target. I wish I would have known there at the Dollar Tree for a dollar because I think I paid uh, $12 for this. Stupid. It's okay. <laughs> anyway, um, miscellaneous things like if they come into class late and they have a slip or if they just have something they have to give me, um, just miscellaneous things can go in there. Or if I get something that I'm like, oh, I need. Well, I shouldn't say I need to copy because I purposely made two copy right there, but you get the gist. Okay, so in this drawer, we have a whole lot of fun. Push pin, my rubber fingers, um, scissors. I have a ton of stickers, so I have all my stickers there. Um, just extra staples, extra tape, rubber bands, a glue stick, extra pencils and stuff, and all extra expo markers. Over here, once again, this is kind of miscellaneous. Like, I have my um calculator i also bought these if i want to send like a you guys are doing great kind of note to somebody i have that batteries first aid kit i have a whole bunch of like meds like cold meds um cough drops mints stuff like that for me really because the other kids should be going to the nurse i also made these i definitely probably could have made them better using my cricket but that's okay so when i have papers together that i need to copy to grade and to do so I have, I have three classes actually. I don't know where the other colors are. I'm gonna have to search for where I put them. So each class will have a different color. So when I'm grading, I know, you know, what that's for. And lastly, down here, I just have um, some binders and stuff. So biology will have a binder, earth science will have a binder. This is all my standards that I printed out, which I'll show you when I stick them on the board. I have my clipboard and just some miscellaneous binders and miscellaneous items in there. So now I'm trying to think of what to do next. I was really hoping to have these up. Oh, you know what I did find in the desk? This is a flat head, so it's not a um, Phillips head, but I was gonna attempt it, see if I can build it with this. I mean, worst case, it doesn't work. So I'm actually gonna try that now. And um, if it works, you'll see them. If it doesn't work, uh, you won't see them. 
let's do that now. Okay, here's our progress so far. Got through one. So uh, the flathead didn't work. I fortunately have a coworker across the street that happens to be here who had this handy dandy tool. And even though it took forever, I used um, this year and was able to do this. Uh, fun fact, it goes without fail, but every single time I build a bookshelf, I do something wrong. There's the wrong. Here's this. Above it, I just wrote that if the cell in your hand does not contain cytoplasm, put it away. This is where the second one's going to go. I'm going to hopefully build it by the end of the day. We have the charging station rules and the rules on fidget use, because I'm going to put the fidget spinners on here as well, or the fidget toys, whatever they are. Um, I was going to do the lights today, but um, I want to do this bulletin board. So we're going to do this bulletin board first and then go from there. Okay, so that's not happening right now. For some reason, I cannot get my staples in there. And I tried duct tape, but it's not strong enough. So I guess I'm going to have to bring my hot glue gun in tomorrow. I was trying to avoid doing that because um, as you can see, everything gets stuck on it when you do that, but I have no choice. So we're gonna do that and um, I'll go start something else. All right, so um, fail again. I really need to go bring my hot glue gun, so that's fine. We won't hang up any of that fun stuff today. I think I'm going to put up the lights like I should have done in the first place. Okay, so what I really want to do is have lights all around my board so that when we're taking notes and stuff, I can turn off the lights and, you know, just have that. I'd really hoped that I was gonna have cabinets or something so that I could like put them around the cabinets too, but there's nothing here. So I'm gonna at least put them around the board and then if I decide on something else, We'll do that, but for now, that's what we're gonna do. My camera died halfway through that, but that's cool. I got everything done on my to-do list today except moving the desks and stuff, but honestly, it's whatever because I got a couple other things done too. I learned that I have to hot glue the bulletin board, which is good to know because I was only planning on coming here tomorrow and not the rest of the week. So I can bring it tomorrow and get that done. So let me just walk you through really quickly what I did and then we'll talk about what I have to still do. Teacher desk area is whatever. It is what it is right now until I can get everything completely organized. Here I just kind of put out all the letters and pictures and stuff that are gonna go on this bulletin board. Just a nice welcome back, uh, be kind, believe in yourself, just a lot of positivity. I already showed you this. I got the one up, not the other, but the other one will go right next to it right here. So here's what I've decided for the walls. This wall is going to have all of the science posters that I created and all that fun stuff. This wall is going to be the scientist of the world because i see that there i'm calling that the separator of the wall so over here is going to be the scientist of the world and then on this wall in this wall i'm going to do some of that the positivity and growth mindset posters that i printed out this is ugly i want to put something on it but the burlap's too much so i don't know we'll figure it out i'll probably just get like white poster paper from the dollar tree and put that on there because it's just really ugly. Um, but on this side, I'm thinking what I'm gonna do with it all is it's gonna be just covered in student work because that's the one thing I don't have in the classroom is an area for student work. I think that's gonna be perfect for it. And then, I cut out these leaves, cute leaf. I'm gonna put this up here and this is going to be called the Student Shout Out Center. So if you see your fellow classmates doing something good, or if I see that you've done something good, I'm gonna um, put something up here, like a pocket where there'll be um, just like little cutouts. Actually, I'll show you, they're over here. You can write, you know, Jackson did really good today because he did his homework. So I bought these, I'll buy some more too. They're only a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So I thought that'd be nice and a nice way to like brighten up the room. Over here, we have this center practically done. I just have to hang up the signs now. Like I said, this is where all the papers will go. All paper flow here if they need any. Lined paper or construction paper. Remember how I said they're going to highlight their name. Green if they understand it fully and could teach it. Yellow if they understand it but could not teach it. And pink if they do not understand the concept at all. That way I can do a quick check to see where they're at. I won this mug at Dave and Buster's if you know what that is. So here's all this fun stuff for them to use. Which brings us to what did I miss? This is going to say while you were out, like above it right here. 
but here's the calendar that I'll write any important things like if it's picture day or if they have an assembly or something like that. But then down here, what did they miss? That'll go there. Once it's a week past, then I'll put it up onto here just so that I'm able to rewrite down here. And then over here is where all the papers will go for the week of anything that they missed. So they'll just go right over here to pick that up. Started messing around with the desks a little bit to determine how I wanted them. This would be one group because this is still following COVID guidelines. If I get the go ahead to move them closer, that'd be great. If I have to move them apart, it's totally fine. But this way, they're three feet apart. In this way, they're three feet apart. So I think that'll work. I have 25 desks in here, so I can do five like this, and then one will have five desks in it instead of four. So that's cool. We're going to do that um, tomorrow. Get everything hung up on the walls. I have a couple things that I need to remember to bring in slash do. And that is about it. So a couple more things to show you. I put up my classroom rules right here. I'm thinking or considering putting something that says classroom rules above it, but I don't know. Kind of like it like that. This way I still have room here too that I can go ahead and uh, put important things. I also started this board as well. Um, my border. Oops, the door's going away. My border's too thick, so I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree and just get like a thin white border to go around this. I told you I printed out these leaves, so I'm just gonna write something like welcome back on here and just stick it up there. And then the last thing that I will show you are all of the lights around here. I have plugged it in to one of these, so now I just use this handy dandy remote and click one, or I'm um, click on for one, and now they're on. The only thing though is that these lights keep blinking. Of course, they're not going to blink now that I've said it, but they've been blinking for the majority of the day. So if anybody knows how to get the lights to not blink, if you could comment that below, that would be much appreciated because that's a super distracting thing to have happen when you're teaching and, oh, there they go. See, they're blinking. Yeah, that needs to stop. So if you know how, let me know. Thank you guys for watching day number two. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm having so much fun decorating my classroom and getting it all ready for the next school year. I can't believe that I have to come back in less than two weeks, but I'm super pumped and I can't wait for this to all be done so I can show you the finished product. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel because then you will not miss day three, which will be up on Tuesday. I post content every Tuesday at 8 a.m. And I hope you have a great rest of your week, everybody. Stay happy, stay positive, stay cool if you're somewhere as hot as it is as down here in South Carolina. Bye. Thank you.